Every natural-born citizen in America who is at least 35 years old is free to run for president. However, that doesn't mean anyone who does this should be taken seriously. Vivek Ramaswamy shouldn't he do that. If it wasn't clear before last week's debate whether Ramaswamy was fit for the post, there's no doubt about it now. Let's start with the fact that he has never been a candidate or held any political office at any level. And now H is running for president. We've tried this before in 2016. How did this work out? His rookie status was on display in Milwaukee. He blamed everyone on the stage. A former vice president. Three former governors. Two current governors and a U.S. senator bought and paid for. He said his climate change agenda was a hoax. He promised raise the legal voting age from 18 to 25. And if elected, Donald Trump promised pardon him on day one. Regardless of what he was charged with, Ramaswamy may have a winning smile. But his debate performance has left many Republicans and political reporters scratching their heads and wondering if this was the message that won the general election. The real question is why did it take them so long to question his viability as a candidate? Vivek Ramaswamy 2024's Andrew Yang Young. Good looking. Speaking fast but saying nothing but bull and not praying for election. Has anyone seen what Ramaswamy is working on? He calls them, my 10 truths and shares them at every campaign rally. Look closely. These are just a bunch of empty slogans, each of which is easily refuted. Which God? His Hindu God or my Christian God? And of course he can't prove that God is real. He can only believe in it. Mostly true. But the truth is that some people not satisfied with the sex given at birth. Perhaps the greatest civilizations in human history existed before the discovery of fossil fuels. Reverse racism racism. True. But this is what defined this country for two centuries and still haunts us today. Does not deny the systemic racism that it the greatest form of government. Not for all families. Some end in disaster. Most non-nuclear families are happy and successful. Capitalism lifts people out of poverty. Some people. But not all. According to the 2021 census, 37.9 million people live in poverty in capitalist America. Government has three branches. Not four. Does anyone really know what Ramaswamy is talking about here? Did he do it? Not enjoying these freedoms Ramaswamy's 10 facts is totally real and has nothing to do with being president. It's time the media stopped treating him like a serious candidate. Fawning over the big crowd he drew in Iowa. Huge crowds also go the Iowa State Fair to see a cow made from butter. But that doesn't mean they want him be president of the United States. Press hosts. The Bill Press Pod. He is author of, From the Left to Life in Crossfire.